Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Movers. We are doing a few pop-up interviews here at PTC DC in Washington DC, uh, right on Pennsylvania Avenue in fact. Um, this is uh, our second time back here at this conference and it's an incredible, you know, global perspective um, on the digital infrastructure industry. So of course with Data Movers, we are bringing you behind the scenes interviews of some of the faces behind the industry and you know, the movers and shakers, the innovators uh, that um, are, are doing all sorts of things with digital infrastructure. So one of those innovators is Sita Sante, uh, partner, partner and managing director for Alex Partners. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I'm just curious, first of all, how you got into the digital infrastructure industry. I think it's a really interesting story. I think it's a very interesting industry. For me, it was a bit orthogonal. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with the U.S. government, mostly in overseas capacities, working with aerospace and defense hardware manufacturers. And by extension of that, developed a bit of an understanding of satellite technology. And so my entrance into digital infrastructure is now through this emerging integration of satellite communications into either being the source of potential future power, but more importantly, the current source of transmissions of data um, that current data centers and digital infrastructure leverage quite a bit. Really interesting. Yeah. I love that. Okay. And so we're talking a lot at this conference this week about challenges in the industry. There are many of them, but there are also many solutions and many opportunities, right? So what would you say is the number one challenge in digital infrastructure? Right oh, now? you make me want to choose one. I mean, that's hard to do. Can I, can I do a three? Can I do a top three? Sure. Also, we, we will allow it. <laughs> um, so some, some combination of the following three. One is actually geopolitical. And I mean that because Having geographic diversity enables good digital infrastructure providers to have redundancy plans if they have a power outage or a cyber attack. So I would say the geopolitical advantage means you have a good strategy that enables you to have geographic diversity. A difficult, a second challenge that's coming up in terms of um, being sort of impenetrable is if you want to mount a successful cyber defense, a lot of the cyber attacks are AI driven. So our solution to that is fight AI with AI. Um, yeah. There are tele telemetry and machine learning developmental solutions that actually can enable predictive risk mitigation strategies if you are sensing or predicting an AI cyber attack. If this, then what? Mm -hmm. um, but that is a major challenge, I think, that a lot of the digital infrastructure industry is facing. And then finally, you have, when you go from cyber and geopolitics and geography, you have just the problem of power mm -hmm. and power and energy sources. And so in order to address sort of the challenges of insufficiency of energy, that's again where I think the geopolitics are really important at play. Mm -hmm. um, and coming up with redundancies to enable data transmission, and that's also why I think the satellite industry is really key in providing that redundancy structure for a lot of major infrastructure players today. Incredible. That is very well said. It's almost <laughs> like you're a speaker. <laughs> All right, so next question. What is your top piece of advice for new entrants into the industry? So here's, here's what's interesting. I think new entrants actually have the first mover advantage. They have the advantage of being startups. Yeah. Why? Two reasons. One, they don't have legacy infrastructure involving data that they have to integrate. Right. Imagine that you're having to integrate very, very large databases or large systems of data transmission, and that integration process tends to be cost inefficient and, at the end of the day, very vulnerable to the thing I talked about at the beginning, cyber attacks. Whereas, by contrast, new entrants, they're already designing systems of data transmission that are by design faster, by design more cost efficient, and by design cyber protected. So while I think there's some good advice for them, I think the, the biggest piece of advice I would give them is you guys have first mover advantage and so leverage it as early and often as you can. Yeah, take advantage of that. That's yeah. huge. Um, okay, and last question, which is oddly kind of the hardest sometimes is because we ask for one word. So what is one word to describe the industry right now? Ooh, um, tense. And I say tense as a reflection of the tension between what we were just talking about. New entrants with innovative technologies, groundbreaking data movers, and frankly more agile business models versus legacy players, legacy infrastructure, and cyber vulnerabilities. So the tension between the two is really what's going to generate the greatest solutions, both technologically as well as in terms of policy. But that tension is a prerequisite for that success. 
It's such a good answer. We haven't heard that word yet either. So that's a really good <laughs> new uh, addition to our repertoire of Love words. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for joining us thank on you. Data Movers here at PTC DC. And thank you to viewers for hanging out with us on another pop-up episode of Data Movers. Happy networking, everyone. Happy networking. Thank <laughs> you.